You're ready. Hi, I'm Evan Henriquez. Wait, you need to wait for me to oh, sit down. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay, get my pen. Hi, I'm Evan Henriquez. Picture this. You get home from school, log on to your social networking site to see a megabyte full of junk posted on your page. Guess who it's from? The school's class clown. 21%. 21% from the. Uh, Walk out of here, please. Over there. Walk to the audience. Walk right. to the audience, okay. According to the Cyber Relief Research Center, 21.3% of common offense are caused to make other people laugh. The problem today is the rapid, the rapid increase of technology and lack of awareness of the dangers of the World Wide Web. A study from the National Center of Missing and Exploited Children shows that 93% of teenagers 12 through 17 go online. 73% have, have profiles on social networking sites and one out of three gets cyberbullied. In this graph taken from cyberbullying.us, this shows how the self-esteem of children is lowered after being cyberbullied. The one on the left is cyberbullied victim, the one on the right is never being cyberbullied at all. Due to the fact that this online harassment takes place at homes, schools aren't aware into this of this issue until it's too late. Yes, previous cases have shown that cyberbullying can lead to suicide. In the case of Jamie Rodemeyer, who was 14 years old when he took his life, a homosexual male that got cyberbullied at school and online constantly. This is because cyberbullying has the same effect as traditional bullying, and people are unaware of it. Similar to traditional bullying, cyberbullying causes victims to feel depressed and lonely. According to suicide expert Dr. Alex Lickerman, two out of five factors that lead to these are two of the five factors that lead to suicide. Other causes of suicide are common, like underdeveloped brains. According to AmericanBar.org, the evidence now is strong that the brain does not cease to mature until the early 20s, and those relevant parts that govern impulsivity, judgment, and planning for the future. This shows how children are mentally stable, one of the main reasons they are unaware of the consequences. This, children are faced with the highest risk of cyberbullying side, a term used by cyberbullying.us that simply means suicide influenced by cyberbullying. Now, educators need to step in the picture. In this cartoon, we see the irony of a kid that feels safer from bullies at school than at home. The bullying zone has spread from the playground to social networking sites. And the cartoon reads, he said he's afraid to go home because that's where the computer is. By parents getting involved, kids break that barrier and feel open to speak to parents about any issues at school. Experts believe some schools should have been taking action against cyberbullying. Dr. Shadeen Sharif at McGill University believes that schools are responsible to adapt to a rapid evolving technological society, address emerging challenges, and guide children to become civic-minded individuals. Because of children's unstable mind, they need to approach, they need to be approached about cyberbullying so they can truly understand the wrong behind what they believe to be a simple joke. In closing, cyberbullying and cyberbully side are only increasing. Us doing nothing is not helping. Help the word get out about the seriousness of cyberbullying and teach your kids, the future generation, the damage that can be done from your home computer. Thank you. Thank you very nice. Uh, four